Here is what you can do once you receive the laser machine in a crated box. In this video, we will show you how to unpack and position your machine whilst you wait for our technician to come and install the laser system as well as provide you with training. You need to have several strong guys and some basic tools to assist you. Open the panels. Remove the top one first. Use a flat screwdriver to open the lip. Then remove all four side panels. The machine is screwed down to the bottom, so you will need to remove the brackets that secure the machine to the bottom. Now you can lift the machine and place it on its wheels on the ground. Then you can push it. Push the machine to a desired location and park. To make maintenance easier at a later stage, we suggest you leave at least one meter of space open on all the sides. Next, turn and lower all feet and lift the machine until the wheels no longer touch the ground. If you leave the wheels on the ground, not only will the machine move when used, but the wheels might also lose their roundness over time. Now you can start to remove the wrapping. The wrapping is heavy duty bubble wrap. It is very difficult to tear so you will need scissors. Now open the top cover, turn the handle from the inside out by unscrewing it from the inside and fastening it again on the outside. Take everything that is loose inside out and cut the cable ties that secure the gantry and cutting head during transportation. Remove the honeycomb table carefully. Any dent in it won't really affect it much but it will look ugly and you can't fix it. Remove all sponge foam. They are only there for protection purposes so you can throw them away. The indication lights need to be installed at the back over here. Remove the screws, place the indication light on and fasten it again. Then plug in the signal cable. Open the air pump box and connect the power. And then plug the air in over here. Just to remind you, this is a default air pump for general purposes. And if you do require a thicker material than designed, you can upgrade to an air compressor with 4 bar pressure. Or you can even buy a silent compressor from us if yours is too noisy. The air pump will vibrate during use, so if your floor is smooth, it might run around. To avoid this, use a piece of foam and place it under the air pump as a cushion. Now, open the door to access underneath the table. Remove the wrapping from the ball screws. They are again only for protection. In the corner, you can see a fan fastened at the bottom. Remove the screws and take it out. Next to it, you will see two big hoses. The blue one is tough and cannot stretch much. Find the hose clamp in the toolbox and fasten one side underneath the table in the back of the cone and extend it out from the hole in the back of the machine. The other side of the hose is to be fastened to the inlet of the extraction fan in the middle. The other hose is very long and very stretchable. You need to connect it to the outlet of the extraction fan and extend to wherever you want to dispose of smoke. And that's it basically. Now get yourself 5 litres of purified water and wait for our technician.